I don't know. I just want to catch my breath. I got a nice little Nah, bit. yeah, but tell me about the, the pre-cutter. What is this? Okay, serrated pre-cutter. This one here is uh, machined. I didn't like that design, so I went to... Uh, this is a uh, 3D printed. 3D it, printed. 3D printed, and it's serrated on an angle. Yeah, right, I, I can that. see that. So it bites into the wood a little better. You like it better? We'll find out. <laughs> and then these little devices carry the chips off the out of the curve. Yeah. And then the, the links cover the whole bar so the chips can't get to the bar. They all can't get out. What is the goal with this? Probably just keep refining it, yeah. Never take the chain off. Runner. Right. Not go dull. Right. Right? Not speed. It's got more cutting edges, therefore it should last longer. Um, it should be faster. I, I predict about 30% faster than a regular chain. But it's yeah, untested. This is, not, this is not for cutting. And we're going to test it at Sawfest, right? Yeah, this is the three-quarter inch pitch. I did that because of the manufacturing. I had to laser weld these uh, cutters. Mm, yeah. So it's very difficult on something very small. Sure. So I, I do have a 3 8 pitch coming. Okay. Where's your stand at? What it's like an see? i beam. So you had a stand or something? Yeah, like that? I, I put the cutter to the center, and it, that center groove holds that cutter from moving side to side. Yeah. So okay, I see. I see. So that yeah, keeps it goes your, all the way down. Uh, <clears throat> I think the new chains they cut too much wood, so it slows you down. Mm -hmm. Normally, a chain gets faster as it. It's sharpened. Right. Because sure. your cutter width is going. Yes. Okay. Because, yes. Looks like it got your hand. No. Did it? It didn't get you at all? No. My hands are just cut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. No. Chain. no, it's not. I, I, I was thinking about running the uh, 4310, but I was like, hell, I'd probably beat him with the 4310 yeah. because I've got a steel RS chain on it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'll be good when you sharpen it, but yeah. you got you to sharpen it. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Oregon. <laughs> well, heck, let's go ahead and run the 4310. Again. Here, you. Dang. You probably cut it from the other side so that you got more room.
up. Let me get my one little one. Yeah, and it's always on. Yeah. You know, there's, there's. He's going back to get his little uh, Neotech. What do they call again? 843? Neotech NH843. Neotech. Two. Yeah. Neotech. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, dang it, you are and, having the worst luck and today. And a Neotech rope. <laughs> tell, uh, well, uh, tell everybody all the problems you've had today. How many yeah. bars are bad? I never have problems, ever. Well, it's all, <laughs> seriously, they run great all the time. I don't get it. I think I blew up the wild thing. Oh, you're spilling the beans on that right now, huh? Well, I mean, <laughs> they're a dime a dozen, but that one isn't. But anyway, okay, so I think I blew it up. I don't know, there's compression. So we'll see about that. I just did this. Yeah. It's an easy fix though. Um, my roller nose bar 365, tried and true. The roller tip inside where the tip meets the bar is broken or something. It's wiggling. Yeah. So it's making it cut crooked. And then my saw that I just got built, um, I cut down a whole cherry tree and bucked it up. Buck the entire thing up with this thing. I bring it here, and the bar rails are like destroyed. It cuts completely crooked. Yep, How I can confirm. Happen? I can confirm. You know. So I'm sure there's something else that screwed up too. But... <laughs> uh, the only failure I had today, basically, was my back and my knees and I'm sunburned. <laughs> Don't let this go. And, and the. Uh, 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 Bobby Boucher, the car, the the bolts in the carburetor backed out, and I was like, Man, "This thing ain't this thing ain't running right." But about halfway through the cut, I went ahead and shut it down. I didn't want to risk anything, and uh, I was like, "What the heck is that?" The carbs just shaking back and forth. But other than that, my stuff's running really good. The 359 is freaking running killer. Um, I I forgot how good that thing is. Um, it's it's really nice. But and Bobby Boucher is ripping it up, but um, uh, I had to, you know, I, I cut with him several times today. And, um, but I gotta say, I mean, like the saw for me, I mean, I love this thing. That is Doug's 681 and it is built by uh, Levanaway. Hey, the XS stands for extra sausage, right? Yes, extra sausage, because he's got sausage fingers, so like huge fingers. Yeah. I yeah. see how he works on anything within things. Yeah, so, <laughs> but that thing right there runs so good. I, it, I, I honestly think this is one of the best saw that, saws that it has, ever came out, man. Yeah, and Doug says that the only difference, besides some aesthetic, uh, it, the only difference between this and a, uh, a, a Domar 7900 or Makita 7900 and stuff is uh, it has a one millimeter longer stroke. And that's what gives it 81 cc's versus the 79 cc's of the Domar and the Makita. I always thought it had a bigger piston, but no, it's, it's a longer stroke. I will say that that stroke must be doing something because she be stroking and it man just runs great. Even Bellhopper. Oh yeah, that's right. Even Bellhopper couldn't get that thing dialed yeah, in. Yeah, so that was another one. I can't. We. I did talk to Tanton about this, and he threw some stuff together on the carb. So you know, we, we'll have to look at it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was running great. So we'll see. Yeah. What do you do? Ah, <laughs> we'll make it. We'll make it. Uh, so it was really busy, pretty much all day. And so it's really difficult to film with that kind of stuff. I think, Doug, you were doing like live feed and stuff, weren't you? Oh, okay. So he's just making video for later too. And so this one right here, I'll, I'll stitch it together and everything and uh, upload it tonight. But let's see. Uh, I had all kinds of people here. And um, did, did you tell everybody what how we how we pull people in? Oh, like it's if, easy. Yeah, we're get, if if we're like dead, we want to take a break. We just chill. Yep. No problem. If we want people here, we run that bad boy right there. <laughs> yeah.
Everybody wants to see this damn thing run. And boy, I mean, it's cool. It just fires up and we just run it. Run it one time sure, go for it, yeah. This is Doug's and he made that pipe. And, oh, oh. I gotta start from the ground, it's 90 pounds. I'm gonna walk up here to this bill. All right, Can well. Can y'all see me? Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy showed up a little bit late. You weren't sure you were gonna make it. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. But, but you did. Thank God we in. did. Yeah. And we're gonna have a good time. All right, uh, Muffler's coming tomorrow, right? I don't know. He talked about coming today, but I hadn't talked to him again. All right, all right. So, well, definitely tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be back. All right, yeah. Tomorrow we'll have a lot more people here and it'll be even harder to film. But it was a. It was a fun day. My throat is killing me just from talking so much, you know? It's, you know, I talk. I'm a blabbermouth anyways. But whenever you get, like, a lot of people showing up and they're wanting to blah, blah, blah. And we learned, like, like what Doug was saying about the big, uh, uh, the big o 070 clone right there with the stacks on it. We, we really figured that out. If we want people to come over, we just start firing up the saws and running them and people uh, next thing you know we look up and there'll be like 40 or 50 people gathered around and i'm like okay so and i just start telling them a story about this saw i got in germany and blah 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 but the coolest uh thing that we have here i i, I think probably uh, is uh the fella that made the chain um he he just he has hopes of maybe that design is going to go somewhere and get manufactured at some point and the whole reason that it's so big isn't because of, hey nick the whole reason it's so big <laughs> is finney because says he's at the paul bunyan show <laughs> so it's like i mean he's bulging out right now what's you going just, on you just get in i saw you earlier yeah an hour like maybe an hour uh, yeah so we just we just we still have to go to the hotel and check in and that kind of stuff and uh we're just hanging out, but I came over and said hi, and Bellhopper was over here, and then I was over there talking to people. I, I don't make it very far out here because like everybody's like, oh, Nick. Oh, I, no, I get it. Uh, totally. I mean, why didn't you come over and talk to me? Well, you were eating an ice cream, I think. You were over here, and you, yeah. were, you weren't even here, and yeah. you were like over there, and I saw you walking across eating an ice cream. So yeah, I was yeah. Like, I'm not going to interrupt you. And, right and, and I, I was blabbering. On and on. You might, I, you might I, 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 it just happens. It's what well, this, I do. This little man here. He hey. Hey. Hey! He ran over, looked at some saws. Rex, he just said he's 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 tired yeah, of the TV he, now. But he's like, no, I don't want but nothing he came to over do and with you. With all your saws. Yeah, yeah. He tried to crawl in your van. Oh, okay, all right, so all right. He did all, right. all that. He 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 checked out the back of the van and all the chainsaws, and now he's uh he's probably ready to go. Change yeah. diaper. We drove. I mean, we we had traffic on the way. There was an accident. But you're not far from here. Out of two hours. Oh gosh, that's yeah. that man. For me, I think it was like thirteen. I, all the way from Atlanta, you know. I actually stopped on the uh, bottom side of Cincinnati and uh, just stayed there. I was like, yeah, come on down We figured here. we got, we were going to come here this morning. We figured we got all day tomorrow and however long we want to stay Sunday. So there's time. We just, we were late to the party, but that's okay. It's all right. Yeah. We're here now. Yeah. Right? Well, today it's kind of the slow day and everything. And we still had points where anytime we started firing up the saws, they would gather 
40 or 50 people and stuff like that. And so today's the slow day, and that was happening. Usually so, it is. And so I mean, tomorrow. We're supposed to clean up, and more people will come tomorrow for yeah. sure. So we'll be here bright and early, and I'll get my, my gear. I didn't unload anything yet. Like, everything's still piled up. So we're going to go to the hotel. If you guys are going to eat somewhere tonight or do something, we might get a little group together and go eat somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we usually go to the forum. And that's, I, what, that's what I'm yeah, yeah. saying. Yeah, and uh, we need to exchange numbers. I'll let you know. We're... Oh, there he is, the hopper. <laughs> I'm ending this video. Hey, yeah. Take care. Take care. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Be good. No, no. Screw Be everything good. up.